All right, so today we're diving headfirst into the energy sector. We're talking Crowdfield, and if that name doesn't ring a bell, uh, get ready because you're about to hear a lot more about them. Yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. They've been making some waves lately. Yeah, see, I was scrolling through LinkedIn the other day, and bam, Crowdfield drops this blog post hinting at some seriously big moves for 2024. <laughs> They're calling them worlds, different paths, different visions, and honestly, color me intrigued. So to help bring it all yeah. down, we've got our expert here. Well, thanks for having me. Always exciting to talk about Crowdfield. So what's got you so intrigued about all of this? You know, what I find fascinating is that they're not just like laying out a plan. They're putting the power in the hands of the community. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they're putting forward three distinct worlds and they're letting people vote on which direction the company should take. It's a bold move. Yeah, it is. And I think it speaks volumes about their commitment to serving the oil and gas community. Okay, I love that they're all about community building. <laughs> but for those who might be new to the game, let's rewind a bit. What exactly II is Crowdfield? So Crowdfield, it's the brainchild of this reservoir engineer, Alan, and he saw a need to shake things up in the industry, you know? Mm. He's been building this platform to help other energy professionals, especially reservoir engineers, to tap into the power of digital tools like AI and no code. Right, right, because yeah. those are kind of the buzzwords these days, but what do they actually mean for someone in oil and gas who maybe hasn't really dived into that world yet? So think of it this way, AI, or artificial intelligence, it can analyze massive data sets to identify patterns and make predictions, which is super helpful in reservoir modeling or production forecasting. Oh, absolutely. And then no code, that's all about empowering people to build software and automate tasks without writing a single line of code. Yeah. So even if you're not a coding whiz, you can still leverage these powerful tools to streamline your work. Yeah, it's like giving everyone superpowers. Even if you didn't go to, you know, coding boot camp. Uh -huh. And Alan's big vision for Crowdfield is to help people use these superpowers to not just survive in the energy transition, but actually thrive. Right. Exactly. It's about staying ahead of the curve and turning expertise into something marketable, something valuable in this evolving energy landscape. Okay. I'm starting to see why this whole three worlds thing is a big deal. They're not just tweaking a feature. They're talking about completely different ways to achieve that vision. So let's dive into world number one, the integrated learning and development ecosystem. What's the elevator pitch? Okay, so picture this. Crowdfield becomes your one-stop shop for continuous learning. We're talking courses, resources, mentorship, even a directory to connect with potential clients. Imagine a world where you can constantly upskill, network, and even find freelance opportunities all in one place. It'd be like a digital hub keeping oil and gas pros at the top of their game. Exactly. I'm already seeing how this could be huge for newcomers trying to build into the field or even seasoned veterans who want to brush up on their digital tool skills. Absolutely. And with the rise of remote work and the global nature of the energy sector, this kind of platform could be a game changer for finding talent and opportunity. It's not just about what you know anymore. It's about constantly learning and adapting. Yeah, it really feels like it's a whole new ball game now. It is. It is. And if world one is all about like absorbing knowledge, right. world two, the collaborative innovation hub, that's where things get really interesting. Okay. This is like the digital think tank they were hinting at. Yeah. Tell me more. Exactly. Bringing together bright minds to collaborate on new products and solutions. Think collaborative product development platform, almost like a digital workshop. You can team up with other experts, pitch ideas, and even access crowdfunding to bring those ideas to life. Wait, hold on. Are we talking crowdfunding for like oil and gas projects now? That's wild. It is. And it speaks to the democratization of technology. You don't need to be part of a giant corporation to have good ideas. That's right. Crowdfield wants to level the playing field and give everyone a shot at shaping the future of energy. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So in this world, someone with a brilliant idea for, say, a new well optimization algorithm could actually find the resources and collaborators to make it happen, even if they're working from their garage. Exactly. And they'd have the support of the entire Crowdfield community behind them, not just with funding, but with expertise, feedback and connections to potential clients. They even talked about integrating a community rating system for products in the digital store, like you were saying. Wow. It's all about transparency and leveraging collective intelligence. That's huge for building trust and credibility, especially in a field that's as specialized as reservoir engineering. And this subscription element they mentioned, would that come into play in World 2? Absolutely. 
They envision offering different subscription tiers with varying levels of access to things like expert panels and virtual networking events. Imagine being able to pick the brains of industry leaders, get real-time insights on market trends, or even just connect with peers facing similar challenges. Okay, that's a gold mine of valuable intel right there. No more feeling like you're out there on your own trying to figure everything out in a vacuum. Exactly. It's about fostering a sense of community and shared purpose, knowing that we're all in this together, striving towards a more sustainable and technologically advanced energy future. All right, you've got me hooked on the first two worlds, but there's a third one, right? What's the scoop on World 3? Okay, so World 3, the AI and no-code aggregator ecosystem. This is where Crowdfield goes from a platform to a movement. Okay, I'm sensing a shift here. What do you mean by a movement? So instead of focusing solely on their platform, Crowdfield would take on a role as a curator, a megaphone, for all the incredible AI and no-code tools being developed outside of their ecosystem. So they become like a central hub, oh, yeah. a trusted source for navigating the ever-expanding universe of digital tools for oil and gas. You got it. They'd leverage their LinkedIn presence to highlight the best tools, offer reviews and user feedback, and even host live sessions with the creators themselves. It'd be like having a team of tech scouts constantly searching for the best tools and then bringing that knowledge back to the Crowdfield community. What's the advantage of that approach? Why not just stick to building their own stuff? It's about embracing abundance, not scarcity. There's so much innovation happening right now, and Crowdfield recognizes that they don't have all the answers. Right. By highlighting the work of others, they're creating a win-win situation, promoting cross-collaboration, amplifying the reach of these amazing tools, and ultimately adding even more value for their community. So it's less about competition and more about collaboration. It's like they're saying, let's break down these silos and build the future of energy together using the best tools for the job, regardless of who built them. Exactly. And they're even considering a connector program where users can earn rewards for introducing new tools and creators to the platform. Imagine getting recognized for being a trendsetter, for bringing valuable resources to the community. Okay, I'm all about incentivizing engagement. Makes everyone an active participant in building this knowledge base. So we've got these three wildly different but equally compelling worlds. But let's bring it back down to earth for a minute. Why should all of this matter to the person listening right now? What's the so what? Well, think about it this way. The energy sector is undergoing a massive transformation. Yeah, no doubt. Whether you're a seasoned engineer, a recent graduate, a consultant, or part of a small to mid-sized company, the way you work, the skills you need are all evolving rapidly. And these worlds that Crowdfield's proposing, they each offer a different pathway to navigate that transformation, right? Exactly. If you're someone who thrives on continuous learning, World One is for you. If you're bursting with ideas and want to collaborate on building the future, World Two is calling. And if you're all about staying ahead of the curve and tapping into the latest and greatest digital tools, World Three is where it's at. It's like choosing your own adventure, right? Yeah. But for the future of energy. Exactly. And the best part is that there's no wrong answer. Each world caters to a different type of professional, a different set of goals and aspirations. So we've talked about the why behind these worlds, but let's get into the nitty gritty. What kind of specific offerings are we talking about here? What's actually going to be in these worlds? Well, Alan was playing his cards pretty close to the chest when it came to the finer detail. Yeah, understandable. Got to keep some secrets, right? Right. But uh, he did paint some pretty intriguing strokes. Think VBA and Python code snippets, ready to use bits of code for common reservoir engineering tasks. Oh, okay. So like drag and drop code, basically. Yeah. For people who aren't, you know, hardcore programmers. Exactly. Imagine having a library of those at your fingertips. Talk about a time saver. Yeah. No more reinventing the wheel every time you start a new project. Right. And it's not just about the code itself. He also mentioned Notion templates for project management, automation tools to streamline workflows, Basically anything that can make an energy professional's life easier and more efficient. Music to my ears. So we're talking about taking existing expertise and packaging it in a way that's accessible and user-friendly, even for those who aren't tech wizards. Exactly. And this is where it gets really interesting. He's even exploring the potential of customized GPTs. Okay, hold up. <laughs> You're going to have to break this down for me. We've tossed around GPTs a couple of times now. What exactly does that mean in the context of oil and gas. I mean, I get the basic idea, but how would it actually work in practice? Okay, so imagine having access to an AI-powered assistant that's been specifically trained on reservoir engineering data and workflows. You need to analyze, well, log data, there's a GPT for that. 
Want to optimize drilling parameters? GPT's got you covered. It's like having a team of digital experts at your beck and call 24-7. Wow, so it's not just about automating tasks. It's about augmenting human intelligence, making smarter decisions faster. Okay, I see why Alan's so fired up about this stuff. But how would all of this actually be delivered? Are we talking online courses, software, something else entirely? He's exploring a multi-pronged approach. Ebooks, video tutorials, how-to guides, maybe even full-blown apps. The key is accessibility and ease of use. He wants to make these tools as user-friendly as possible, regardless of someone's tech background. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the tech itself. It's about what people can do with it, right? 100%. And that's what makes Crowdfield so compelling. They're not just building a platform. They're building an ecosystem where knowledge is shared, innovation is celebrated, and everyone has the opportunity to thrive in this exciting, rapidly evolving energy landscape. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty pumped right now. Okay. But for those listening who, like me a few minutes ago, had no idea Crowdshield even existed, where do they go from here? Yeah. What's our call to action? Well, the first step is simple. Check out their website, crowdfield.net. They've got a whole section dedicated to the three worlds where you can dive deeper into each vision and, most importantly, cast your vote. Yes. Make your voice heard. Ooh. This is your chance to shape the future of this platform. Exactly. And for those who are ready to go all in, there's that AI and no-code cohort we mentioned earlier. But for the people who want to be more than just spectators. Exactly. The cohort is a paid group, and it gives you behind-the-scenes access to the development process. You'll be able to provide feedback on courses, tools, and even get early access to the final products. It's like a VIP pass to the future of Crowdfield. A hundred percent. It's a chance to rub shoulders with like-minded individuals, learn from industry experts, and be a part of something truly groundbreaking. So to wrap things up, Crowdfield's on a mission to empower energy professionals with the tools and connections they need to thrive in a rapidly changing world. They've laid out three compelling visions for the future, and now it's up to the community to decide which path they'll take. It's an exciting time to be a part of the energy sector. Absolutely. And with platforms like Crowdfield emerging, the future looks brighter than ever. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. A deep dive into the world of Crowdfield, AI, no code, and the future of energy. Until next time, keep exploring, keep innovating, and most importantly, keep asking the big questions.